At 23, Broomy Bank unseated his rider, and fence 24, Falloon fell, and Tomatelli pulled up, and at fence 27, Fethard Friend pulled up. Well, if you didn't actually have the winner, I trust you won some money there. And if not, there's a chance to win now in the March Goal of the Month competition. And I'll remind you how to enter in a moment. But first, a look at the goals, starting with goal A, scored by Jesper Olsen for Manchester United against Everton. McGrath. And now Brazil. Onside. Good turn. Brilliant. Olsen. Deflection. Goal. Jesper Olsen. For Manchester United. Goal B scored by Bobby Campbell for Bradford City against Gillingham. Abbott. Orley. Hendry. This was almost made for him. It is made for him. Oh, what a finish by Bobby Campbell. Goal C scored by Paul Allen for West Ham United in the FA Cup at Manchester United. Goddard. Still West Ham won't give it up. Paul Allen in well here. What a good finish. Goal D scored by Kevin Sheedy for Everton in the FA Cup against Ipswich Town. George Burley coming forward. The ball's been taken slightly further back and Gates is complaining about that. Well, that makes a change. Sheedy again goes for the other side. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Goal E scored by Romeo Zondervan for Ipswich Town in the same match. Johnson bowling up the hill. Butcher did well. Zondervan! Lovely goal! Goal F scored by Derek Mountfield for Everton in the same match. Reed. Yes, he's made the gap. Vanden Howe. Yes! Goal G scored by Frank Stapleton for Manchester United at West Ham United. And Stapleton was arriving there, and my word, that's a good header. A classic Frank Stapleton goal. Goal H scored by Paul Walsh for Liverpool against FK Austria. Here's Hansen. And again, Kennedy seeing his chance to get forward. Good ball. And Walsh, beautifully taken and beautifully made. And here's a check on those goals. Goal A, Jesper Olsen. B, Bobby Campbell. C, Paul Allen. D, Kevin Sheedy. E, Romeo Zondervan. F, Derek Mountfield. G, Frank Stapleton. And H, Paul Walsh. And here's how to enter. You put your name and address on the left-hand side of a postcard, please, and your goal selection in one, two, three order on the right-hand side. And you address the postcard to Goal of the Month, BBC Television, London, W12, 8QT. That's Goal of the Month, BBC Television, London, W12, 8QT. And the sender of the first correct entry, drawn from our post bag to coincide with the choice of our panel, will receive £100 of the premium bonds. Well, that's the good news. The bad is that you'll lose an hour's sleep tonight as it's time to put your clocks forward. And if, before that, you like a touch of late-night horror, the film Black Christmas awaits you. Either way, we'll be back next Saturday at 10.30 with another instalment in the Canon League drama. Good night. <laughs>
Thirty dollars. How much was dinner? Sixty-eight sixty. What? I made the mistake of letting the captain suggest the wine. <sighs> Anything else? Two tickets to a charity bazaar, fifteen dollars a ticket. It comes to one hundred and thirty-one dollars and sixty cents. Well, consider the bright side. Still beats being married. I mean, a date you can look at, if you will, as a non-recurring expense. A wife is overhead. Glenda Jackson and Walter Matthau star in House Calls on Monday at five past ten. On BBC Two at the moment, Hart is back in Oxford with the poet, historian and raconteur A.L. Rouse. And then at 11.15, highlights of today's internationals, Ireland versus England and France versus Wales in Rugby Special. Here on BBC One, it's late, late horror time now and you could well end up dreaming badly of a black Christmas.